Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Governor Mike Pence says he's opposed to expansion of gaming in Indiana, but won't tell the public how he defines expansion. The gaming bill allows riverboats to move inland on existing property, gives casinos a tax credit for new construction, and allows racetrack casinos to switch out some of their electronic games with tables that have live dealers. Though a House committee included extensive tax changes to the bill, those changes were taken out before the measure left the House this week, and that's something for which Pence takes credit. The gaming bill is now in the Senate's hands. Uninsured Hoosiers who are facing penalties on their 2014 taxes for not getting health care coverage may be able to avoid even larger fines next year by signing up for insurance during a special enrollment period. The original deadline to enroll in coverage was February 15th, but many people are just now filing their taxes and realizing how much not getting insurance in 2014 will cost them. The special enrollment period runs, runs from March 15th to April 30th. And the Indiana Department of Transportation is hosting a series of public meetings to gather feedback about the route Interstate 69 should take from Martinsville to Indianapolis. And DOT representatives heard concerns and some praise for the proposed construction project for nearly two hours at Martinsville High School last night. Speakers ranged from Martinsville Mayor Phil Deckard to local school teachers and retirees. And DOT will establish the timeline for construction of the final stretch of I-69 until it has determined funding sources for the project. And now a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy, slight chance of flurries, lows down to zero degrees. And then in the five-day forecast on Friday, partly cloudy, 16 degrees, the high 25. On Saturday, a 60% chance of snow goes through the weekend through Sunday. Highs up to 38 on Sunday afternoon.